Morris, Wikipedia article audio. See text. Species. Distribution and cultivation. Uses. Nutritional profile. Silk industry. Pigments. Paper. In culture. Fossil record. Gallery. Morris, a genus of flowering plants in the family Moraceae, comprises 1016 species of deciduous trees commonly known as mulberries, growing wild and under cultivation in many temperate world regions. The closely related genus Brussonchia is also commonly known as mulberry, notably the paper mulberry, Brussonchia papyrifera. Mulberries are fast-growing when young, but soon become slow-growing and rarely exceed 10-15 meters tall. The leaves are alternately arranged, simple and often lobed and serrated on the margin. Lobes are more common on juvenile shoots than on mature trees. The trees can be monoecious or dioecious. The mulberry fruit is a multiple fruit, approximately 2-3 cm long. Immature fruits are white, green, or pale yellow. In most species the fruits turn pink and then red while ripening, then dark purple or black and have a sweet flavor when fully ripe. The fruits of the white-fruited cultivar are white when ripe, the fruit of this cultivar is also sweet, but has a very bland flavor compared with darker varieties. The taxonomy of Morris is complex and disputed. Over 150 species names have been published, and although differing sources may cite different selections of accepted names, only 1016 are generally cited as being accepted by the vast majority of botanical authorities. Morris classification is even further complicated by widespread hybridization, wherein the hybrids are fertile. The following species are accepted by the Q plant list as of August 2015. Black, red, and white mulberry are widespread in southern Europe the Middle East, Northern Africa, and Indian subcontinent, where the tree and the fruit have names under regional dialects. Jams and sherbets are often made from the fruit in this region. Black mulberry was imported to Britain in the 17th century in the hope that it would be useful in the cultivation of silkworms. It was much used in folk medicine, especially in the treatment of ringworm. Mulberries are also widespread in Greece, particularly in the Peloponnese, which in the Middle Ages was known as Moria, deriving from the Greek word for the tree. Mulberries can be grown from seed, and this is often advised as seedling-grown trees are generally of better shape and health, but they are most often planted from large cuttings which root readily. The mulberry plants which are allowed to grow tall with a crown height of 1.5 to 1.8 meters from ground level and a stem girth of 10-13 cm. They are specially raised with the help of well-grown saplings 8-10 months old of any of the varieties recommended for rain-fed areas like S13 or S34 which are tolerant to drought or soil moisture stress conditions. Usually, the plantation is raised and in block formation with a spacing of 1.8 by 1.8 m, or 2.4 by 2.4 m, as plant to plant and row to row distance. The plants are usually pruned once a year during the monsoon season to a height of 1.5 1.8 m and allowed to grow with a maximum of 8 10 shoots at the crown. The leaves are harvested three or four times a year by a leaf-picking method under rain-fed or semi-arid conditions, depending on the monsoon. The tree branches pruned during the fall season are cut and used to make durable baskets supporting agriculture and animal husbandry. Some North American cities have banned the planting of mulberries because of the large amounts of pollen they produce 
posing a potential health hazard for some pollen allergy sufferers. In actuality, only the male mulberry trees produce pollen, this lightweight pollen can be inhaled deeply into the lungs, sometimes triggering asthma. Conversely, female mulberry trees produce all female flowers, which draw pollen and dust from the air. Because of this pollen absorbing feature, all female mulberry trees have an opal's allergy scale rating of just one, and some consider it allergy free. Fortunately, mulberry tree scion wood can easily be grafted onto other mulberry trees during the winter, when the tree is dormant. One common scenario is converting a problematic male mulberry tree to an allergy free female tree by grafting all female mulberry tree scions to a male mulberry that has been pruned back to the trunk. However, any new growth from below the graft must be removed, as they would be from the original male mulberry tree. The fruit of the white mulberry and East Asian species extensively naturalized in urban regions of eastern North America has a different flavor sometimes characterized as refreshing and a little tart, with a bit of guminess to it and a hint of vanilla. In North America, the white mulberry is considered an invasive exotic and has taken over extensive tracts from native plant species, including the red mulberry. The ripe fruit is edible and is widely used in pies, tarts, wines, cordials, and herbal teas. The fruit of the black mulberry and the red mulberry have the strongest flavor, which has been likened to fireworks in the mouth. The fruit and leaves are sold in various forms as nutritional supplements. The mature plant contains significant amounts of resveratrol, particularly in stem bark. Unripe fruit and green parts of the plant have a white sap that may be toxic, stimulating or mildly hallucinogenic. In a 100 gram serving, raw mulberries provide 180 kJ, 44% of the daily value for vitamin C, and 14% of the DV for iron, other nutrients are in insignificant quantity. Mulberry leaves, particularly those of the white mulberry, are ecologically important as the sole food source of the silkworm, the cocoon of which is used to make silk. The wild silk moth also eats mulberry. Other Lepidoptera larvae which include the common emerald, lime hawk moth, sycamore moth, and fall webworm also eat the plant. Mulberry fruit color derives from anthocyanins which are under basic research for mechanisms of various diseases. Anthocyanins are responsible for the attractive colors of fresh plant foods, including orange, red, purple, black, and blue. These colors are water-soluble and easily extractable, yielding natural food colorants. Due to a growing demand for natural food colorants, their significance in the food industry is increasing. A cheap and industrially feasible method has been developed to extract anthocyanins from mulberry fruit which could be used as a fabric tanning agent or food colorant of high color value. Scientists found that, of 31 Chinese mulberry cultivars tested, the total anthocyanin yield varied from 148 to 2,725 mg per liter of fruit juice. All the sugars, acids, and vitamins of the fruit remained intact in the residual juice after removal of the anthocyanins, so the juice could be used to produce products such as juice, wine, and sauce. Anthocyanin content depends on climate and area of cultivation, and is particularly high in sunny climates. This finding holds promise for tropical countries that grow mulberry trees as part of the practice of sericulture to profit from industrial anthocyanin production through the recovery of anthocyanins from the mulberry fruit.
This offers a challenging task to the mulberry germplasm resources for. During the Ankarayan age of the Khmer Empire of Southeast Asia, monks at Buddhist temples made paper from the bark of mulberry trees. The paper was used to make books, known as crying. A Babylonian ideological myth, which Ovid incorporated in his Metamorphoses, attributes the reddish-purple color of the mulberry fruits to the tragic deaths of the lovers Pyramus and Thisbe. Meeting under a mulberry tree, Thisbe commits suicide by sword after Pyramus was killed by the lioness because he believed that Thisbe was eaten by her. Their splashed blood stained the previously white fruit, and the gods forever changed the mulberry's color to honor their forbidden love. The nursery rhyme Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush uses the tree in the refrain, as do some contemporary American versions of the nursery rhyme Pop Goes the Weasel. Vincent van Gogh featured the mulberry tree in some of his paintings, notably Mulberry Tree. He painted it after a stay at an asylum, and he considered it a technical success. Fossils of Morris are reported from the Pliocene of the Netherlands. Clusters of unopened female flower buds. Mulberry flower clusters. Female flower clusters. Unripe white mulberries. Semi-ripe mulberries on a mulberry leaf. Autumn foliage. Exploration and collection of fruit-yielding mulberry species, their characterization, cataloging, and evaluation for anthocyanin content by using traditional, as well as modern, means and biotechnology tools, developing an information system about these cultivars or varieties, training and global coordination of genetic stocks, Evolving suitable breeding strategies to improve the anthocyanin content in potential breeds by collaboration with various research stations in the field of sericulture. Plant genetics, and breeding, biotechnology and pharmacology. Mulberry Tree by Vincent van Gogh, 1889